I mean, I am recording at the moment. Oh, why? Well, I... So I mean, like, we could just, like, start whenever. Like but, now. uh... Start when moist. How, how much Domino of this... Land. How much of this have you guys seen, like, of the of the entire game? I've played it. Well, I mean, I, I know you've played, so you... I've technically watched deceased crap played through this game entirely in some form or another, like three separate times. And Paris? Yeah? Uh, I, I can barely hear you over the video, so I need to adjust volume. What was that? <laughs> Have you played Thanks. this game before? Uh... I've watched someone play this game. I played a very small amount. Oh, nope, thing about I am not I am not good at game. So <laughs> This game would not be on this list. Yeah. This is a game that's hard to be good at. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I did play it a bit though. I just didn't get very far. Although Koki, when Deceit Crab played this game, didn't he play the MSX version? Or he did, did he actually both. play the He remake? played the MSX version, I think twice, and then also played the remake. Ah. Uh. Or, did you get he played one of them twice. Hmm? How far did you get in Loma Lama? Me? I don't remember. I got yeah. a few... Like, several bosses in, and that was about it. Hold on a second, something's missing here. I've got the game, oh, I've got it yeah, all recorded. I know missing. Why are we missing here? If anyone else doesn't know, you're, you're terrible. Well, I mean, where they haven't seen... How pancakes does. Ah, uh, that's what I, I was wasn't referring to the audience. <laughs> I will say right now, I go pretty out of order when it comes to doing most of the game here. You imply I... that there's an order. Not oh, true. Can I get like a La Milana hack where they replace La Meza with um, Joseph Joestar? That's what I want. You know, it doesn't seem wrong. <laughs> Yay! Selfhood. My dude. Hey, this Bro. guy is great. We have protected the Lamu land. They hold secret treasures and all kinds of mysteries. I also like how he says take a weight with you as if he was going to give you one, but he doesn't. I was just letting you know take a weight with you. Hey, I've got emails. Be sure to check your email. I'll be emailing you because I have no friends. No friends at all. This was Love a... me, La Mesa. Love me. This was a bit of a glitch up during the editing because for some reason, the editing program put in like two copies of one video and this one was just like, it cut into like that point like a few seconds ago and I don't know why. So we just seen this twice. Sorry. What? I knew it was once to know color scheme for the penetrator. It's just the basic living steel, so whatever that would be. What color is living steel? How dare you call me a coward, Lemon? <laughs> it's a fucking cell phone. Stop sending me emails already! I just left your house! If anyone can talk shit at you, it's cell phone. And Mulbrook. Well, we were, we're not going to see Mulbrook for a while, sadly. That doesn't mean she can't talk shit about you. True. I mean, even when, she, when she's a statue, she can still talk shit. Hey, Zelput, I gotta wait. Stop talking to me, I'm too busy emailing my friend <laughs> Lameza. <laughs> <laughs> like so. <laughs> Okay. It should be noted that while I did get the the scanner, it is utterly useless when scanning some of the tablets inside the ruins unless I get the the translation program. Well, yeah. Hey, Zelput, I got your email. Now, granted, you don't necessarily need the scanner if you know the language, which you can totally just. I thought there were some things that only react after you, like they actually do something after you scan them. 
unlock a puzzle or something? Yeah. Um, not that I am aware of. <laughs> I burnt I mean, the only, based, you <laughs> The only tablet I can think of that has that kind of reaction is the one that activates hard mode. Why is there a statue of Zelput here? Because he wants to feel important. And I don't know why that piece of software was hiding inside some rocks. So. Uh, Zelput stash. I miss when those are like Optimus Prime heads. <laughs> they do kind of look like that. In the MSX version, they really look like that. Well, I think so. Hey, there's a block. You should try pushing it. Maybe you'll find something. How do you know where I'm at, Zelput? Are you spying on me through the webcam on this laptop? <laughs> Did you watch me masturbate? Did you? That's why, yeah. That's why I'm watching your camera. You look in the background, it's that last boss from Spelunky. Yeah. Was that last yeah, boss Olmec. called Olmec? Yeah, it was Olmec. I forgot this music. And here's the easiest fucking spirit orb in the game. Well, it's supposed to be introductory. True. Yes, I do feel stronger. Because my health doubled. I missed, like, the keyboard command to kill all bats he used to type in. Th there is a key- Whoa! Oh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a, there was a split there. A little bit. Ancient Aztec steroids. Ancient Aztec steroids. Yep, can't read that. Okay. Coins. Coins! Yeah, boring. Oh, we have a dais right over here. It's totally not suspicious in the least. Yeah, I don't mess with it now. yet. Cat ball. What's that? So you know what I miss really now? Cat ball. Cat ball? Egypt. Oh. Pyramid. This on my head is very surprised and had maybe- ah! Oh god, there's spikes in front of me! How did you solve my impossible puzzle? <laughs> I, I put a weight on the platform. <gasps> Genius! Bye, bat. Oh, fuck. You can turn around. How come I can't turn around? This is bullshit. One of the more annoying emails to get in this is that I have to kill a hundred bats in this area. And all it all I get from that is fucking Zelput sending me an email on how to make bat curry. The curry is very important to Nigoro. Oh, do I get it? Nope. No! <laughs> Did that actually hurt? Or is it no, just it doesn't better? hurt. It just makes sense. Done. Isn't like the whole reason because like Lamenza is like a descended from like a ninja clan? That was their excuse, yeah. I have still have no idea what those things are, like like rat pigs or something. Those weren't the things here that like, it's these things that confused me. Yeah. The shrews that they stand on their of, they made me think of geekies. Very roundabout way with me trying to get the Holy Grail. And all the red skeletons! I did on the last screen, there was an eye in the background. Oh, I yeah. I didn't watch enough of that, um. Uh. The, like. Game show that I can't remember the name of on, like, old Nickelodeon to make jokes about it right now. Oh, yeah, I remember. It's like, wasn't it, like, <laughs> Secrets of the Hidden Temple? Some, something like that. But here's the secret to the fucking Holy Grail. Yeah, I remember this one. Loop around. Yep. A lot of the rooms in this dungeon are structured like that, where they can loop around like that. Open that up. Huh? 
Yay! Most important item of the game! Now I can warp! And I got two emails from that. And for some reason, I got the email for, like, moving past those, like, one-way doors when picking that up, and I don't know why. Onk. Onk. We know all about onking. Get, uh, get onked. <laughs> get onked, motherfucker. Hey, hey kid, you wanna try some onk? Give you the hookup. <laughs> Just in the middle of writing you an email. <laughs> <laughs> Interrupted him again. Work with me, son. You gotta be careful you don't walk in on him. It'd have been funny if, like, after you walked out from getting that thing, you get an email, and in the email it says, Hold on, Lamez is here. Oh, hell no. <laughs> You're gonna get burnt, son. <laughs> you gotta watch out for when you walk in on him when he's uh, playing a VN. The VN? Yeah. He's probably gonna be masturbating. Oh. <laughs> probably. I remember one one of the ones that, like, I can, like, interrupt him off. He's like, No! I almost beat this boss! Where? Back to going upward because I forgot to grab a treasure. As well as a map. And time the bird didn't face you. He faced the bird. Snack! Why'd you kill a snack? Mia, don't look! This guy's pretty morbid, it's like, Haha, <laughs> I found a map, but then I died! No, that's not really <laughs> funny. Haha, <laughs> I died. I'm just remembering that one time the roof falls on you after you kill the boss. Shell horn! Oh, that fucking... That boss was a pain in the ass, too. <laughs> what boss was it? The one in the, uh, Gate of Illusion. The, uh, oh yeah, that guy. The one that was guarding the, uh, the key of infinity. Yeah. He's such a painful boss, and then as soon as you kill him, the roof like falls on you. Like, move. Yeah. See, then you gotta kill him one more time. Unless, of course, he had weird? quick reflexes. So wasn't that where the, like, the big thing was if you went left? No, no, that it's on the other side of the village. Ah. Uh. Somewhere. <laughs> Enough to get me both pieces of software. That is very yeah. useful. Money's you. you can afford a software update. Now I can translate those tablets, and I have a map. Provided I find the map for the area that I need it in. Unfortunately, since I didn't have the translation software when I first went into the Gate of Guidance, I have to go back manually and scan the, t the Grail tablet. Don't complain about that shit. If you remember how like the MSX version worked with software. I never played the MSX version. Well, let me give you a thing. Instead of having like slot, you know, like a total amount of memory, and you can install until the memory is full up, you could install two things, and based on what two things you install, like different things happen. It's a combo system. I mean, it's still a combo system, but it's... That meant if you wanted the glyph reader, you had to, like, not have something else installed. That's weird. That was the one thing you could have. There's a name for each room! I think most people wanted to have the software combo installed that gave you, um, double life. Or half damage, whichever way you want to look at it. Now I can wick warp here, and I've got a quick save as well. Hurry! Granted, if I quit the game and not actually save, that's gonna be utterly useless. You could just save. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like, if... Let me tell you one thing, I've had quite a number of times during these recordings where... I did something, but at, and then I got to like a part later, I got frustrated, and I turned off the game without saving, it's like, oh shit, yeah. I just wasted two hours. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay, so in the background of the room that Pancakes is in before this one, there was these little heads on pedestals, and they look kind of like Doom Guy. I don't think...
think I saw that. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if another room pops up with them. And if you want to know what that eye was in the background, you'll find out soon enough. Do you, do, oh, you, yeah. do you fuck with them? I do, just not in these first two videos. I show it off in the third, though. Intentionally or accidentally? Uh... Both? Accidentally. <laughs> Intaxidentally. That sounds weird. That's implication. That leap of faith. Yep, yep, leap of faith. For the like shittiest sub weapon in the game in terms of damage. Oh, shuriken. The only good thing about them is that you get so much of them, so you can like just spam them. There they are, Doom Guy heads. Oh yeah, now we see him. Yeah, they kinda do look like Doom Guy. Also, so I just realized something. Huh? The the noise that it makes when you complete a puzzle is the same as like a switch notification. It's very similar, yeah. Like a different instrument, but I want to know what those things are, it's like, weird... Half a dude. Yeah, like, half dude, half ant. Okay, no, 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 there's a picture of them in the, uh, uh instruction manual. It's, they're, they're ants and lions. Ah, uh, ant lion, got it. Go up. Hi! Bye! Well, I totally didn't fall down. <laughs> God damn it. Slick edit. It's like, no, I totally landed on the platform. It's totally fine. Oh no, a noise. Every major area that has a boss in it. I have to do one of two things. One, unlock where the ink the onk is. You have to do two things. Yeah, I have, I have to of. Yeah. Unlock the the onk and also find the onk jewel. So that I can fight the guardian. And then fight the guardian. So three things. Okay. That was a skip. Oh it's it's another treasure chest. There's another skip. And another skip. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time for this shit. Oh wait, that's... I don't know why I went back to him. I guess I just thought I didn't talk to him. It's the only way to be sure. Now, Best I'm... pig is my favorite pig. Oddly enough, one of the requirements to getting one of the characters at the end credits is to not immediately buy that software. Which software was that? Uh, guild.exe. Hmm. For some reason, like, um... One of the characters is like a fish, and you can only unlock him when you buy guild.exe at his shop instead. I'm trying to remember like where the tablet was for like the uh, the answer to this riddle, but basically I just have to break them in the order I, that. I don't remember where it was, but I do remember finding it. It tells you about like a series of extinction events, and you have to remember the order. His face fell off. <laughs> His jaw <laughs> fell off. One of the be one for precise. Okay, now let's do this right! It's like, uh... I think this... Earth, wind, fire, water, heart. It's like, in the first stage, you're overcome by water and by wind. Our towns burn down, and then finally, the land was riddled with blood. 
or something like that. Hyper realistic blue. Blue. Blurred. But does he have a fat breath? That's all of his problems, away. I don't know, Zelp, Zelp, I would, actually, no, he's not. I was gonna say Zelput can be fat, but that's making... Zelput's fucking ripped. <laughs> he is! By the way, when I was saying that story, I had a twist ending, I was talking about the fat friend coming in. It's kind of what I was expecting to have happen. Yep. Yep. Just moving so back to this area. There was so much initial detail on fat friend, it was, it was total Chekhov's gun. <laughs> <laughs> Or Chekhov's fat friend. <laughs> <laughs> Little did you know that Chekhov had a fat friend that he managed to put into all of his plays. Hey, Jewel, that shines red. Y yes. Yes, it does, Zelpin. <laughs> Why are you watching me still? <laughs> How do you know that I have a Jewel? I'm Chekhov. bored. Chekhov's fat friend is just Mr. Scott. I saw the later movies and shows, I know how big he got. <laughs> I see what you did there. I don't even watch the series. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I really like how this game handles block pushing puzzles is that the solutions to a lot of them are really obtuse. Uh, I wouldn't say a lot of them, but. I mean, the, the difficulty for them just really spikes up later on. I I kind of like the uh, how much they fuck with you at the one in the uh, the twin labyrinth. Oh yeah, the one for. It's like you the... can't solve this. <laughs> Good luck trying it, <laughs> trying it, fucker. It, it, they show it to you so early. <laughs> Screw you, bats. Let's kill you. Kogi, your quote is still there in the chat. The fucking Kawaii Desimorphi. <laughs> Kawaii Desimorphi. Koki's legacy. You know what's something I enjoy in video games, though? What? No, I don't know. When the final boss is in the exact same area as like your very first encounter where you start off. Well, that's definitely not the case in this game. Oh yeah, I know. I was just thinking, though. Well. 